29.2, part 1. First, we will discuss the simple plant tissues, uh, the first of which is the parenchyma cells. Parenchyma cells have primary cell walls that are flexible. Uh, they have a large vacuole. You can see here in this typical plant cell, the center part here is the large vacuole. Um, they're typical plant cells. So when you study plant cells in your general bio class, you compare them to animal cells, um, you were studying the parenchyma cells. Then this is where photosynthesis occurs. Uh, so you would find parenchyma cells in leaf tissues in the mesophyll la layer. Uh, the fleshy tissue of fruits is also parenchyma cells. And they retain the ability to divide under special conditions. So generally, parenchyma cells uh, will not go through mitosis very often. However, they are going to um, retain the ability, which means that if the plant is under stress or some of the plant has been removed, the parenchyma cells can undergo mitosis to help the plant uh, continue its growth. Then we have colon chyma cells. Uh, these are grouped in strands or cylinders. They support young plant shoots. So when a plant is growing, its apical meristem is increasing in size, let's say, and it's uh, increasing in height, the colon chyma cells are going to help support the young plant shoots. Oops. Uh, they have thicker walls compared to parenchyma cells. Um, these are the strings you find in celery. Um, even though they have thicker walls, they do lack secondary walls. Uh, they do not have lignin, and lignin is a glue-like polymer that is in secondary walls. Uh, lignin usually makes some plants' parts stronger, um, more waterproof, and less vulnerable to attacks. Um, so they don't have lignin, so they provide flexible support. Lignin, lignin will generally make a plant... Um, strong and sturdy. So by lacking it or not having lignin, they're more flexible so they can provide support without restricting the growth of the plant. Um, they're living cells and they are flexible. Again, that's the colon chyma cells. Then last we have the sclerin chyma cells. Um, these are uh, for support but with thick secondary walls. So these um, have the lignin. See a picture here? Uh, we have our plant cells. Now the primary cell wall is the part on the outside. Remember in plants, a primary cell wall is the outer cell wall. And then a secondary cell wall is located here, this more fuzzy green area. Um, they're rigid, which means uh, firm. And mature sclerenchyma cells do not elongate. So you're not going to find them in parts of the plant that is increasing in primary growth. Um, but you do find them in parts of the plant that do not elongate. Um, so maybe like the bark of a tree or something. And they are dead at functional maturity. Um, but before they die, they do make secondary walls. There's two types of sclerenchyma cells. We have the, oh I spelled that wrong, sclerids and fibers. So the sclerids are very thick, lignified cell walls. They form seed coats, nutshells, and the gritty texture of pears. So if you ever eat a pear, and you know it's a little bit different than an apple, um, that's because of the sclerenchyma cells. And then we have the fibers. Uh, they're arranged in threads. They're long, slender, and tapered. Uh, we use those for ropes or linen, uh, weaving, that sort of thing. Now here's a look at the three types of cells. We have the uh, parenchyma cell tissue, your typical plant cell. Then we have the colonchyma uh, tissue and the sclerenchyma tissue.